It's a brand new year. I'm too glad that we can start clean. Remove your notebook when you go home tonight. Tear the page from yesterday and start fresh, brand new. Some of you, you probably feel rejected. You feel like there's no hope in your life for 2005. Who knows if our CCM has come to the kingdom in such time as this. Now I urge you, I need you. Don't miss out on what's going to be happening in the next 40 days. I'm telling you, I'm sold out in this for you. Don't steal on the fence. I promise you. I promise you. Get involved. I promise you. Don't let this bite you. I'm expecting. I love you guys. I really do. I sincerely do. You took the risk and you opened up your homes. I love you for it, guys. I appreciate you for that. May these 40 days have been a blessing to you. And as we start now, embark in continuation in a church of small groups, that you will join a group, be part of a group, and grow. I want to make a special announcement. I know that many of you know my situation, that God has blessed me with a wife to be in the very near future. Now Vivian is here with me. I'm excited about this. I'm telling you. I found the woman of my dream. The wedding is bigger than us. It's bigger than us. I want you to know that. I don't think my wedding is to be for me, for her. It's for the body of Christ. Right now, we are working on the performing arts ministry downtown. Today, Public Music and its development partner, Rochester Christian Church Ministries, announced their plans to create, in this building, the Lighthouse Center for the Performing Arts. And the building looks so beautiful. Now we start to make plans to redo it and rebuild. This is going to be a place when a time comes within, Lord willing, two years will be open to the public for performing arts, the dances, the singing, the drama, all this. You know, I saw what then, like, like, a, like a father, I was so proud. And I began, went to my office, I began to weep. It was, it was an anointing of God over these kids. And I pray, God, let none of these kids that today were here under the influence of this campus will ever forget this day. And when I shared with them for about 30 seconds, I told them, we need you, kids. The young people of our church here, we need you. We need you. How much does it mean to you? We're literally reaching the nations. The World Ministry Conference coming up next year at the end of April and the first two days in May. So far, we have uh, over 200 pastors registered to come from 16 nations. The 30th of September is a powerful day for us because we are going to invest in the lives of thousands of pastors in many, many nations. We have our 33rd annual international missions convention coming up. Don't miss out on the missions convention. But God is working everywhere through this ministry. It's a man with a vision who has a heart for the lost. This morning, Pastor Kenneth Ellen is with us. And we welcome you, Pastor Ellen. Please stand up. I, uh, I never dreamed that I'd be back being able to minister the Word of God. The wonderful thing about God is He heals the brokenhearted. And it has been about 27 years, 27 years that I have been out in the desert. He's going to join us. You wait for one of his lessons. So welcome, Pastor Ellen. Bless you. Bless you. Praise God. 
Folks, it's not the way it starts that counts, it's the way it ends. I hope you understand my heart. And I pray that I can give you this heart. And I pray you have no rest until you get this heart for the lost. It so blessed my heart. If that was the only person that we went out to touch on Saturday, that was good enough for me. One life was worth it all. But we have a destiny. An assignment to save the lost. God has given RCC, all of us, and every believer on earth, the responsibility to reach out. This is just the beginning. It's just the beginning, and it's all about souls. Never in my life, never in my life this morning, I came so right early in the morning, I opened the door, and I began to say, God! is something stirred within me. When you pray, it says, attendance will grow. Every person will come mature. I will cause the nations that will come into our system to be blessed so that this will cause growth to the lighthouse. I said, my son, remember, this is the only engine that will turn me on. Lord, what? Pray.